happy and a happy independence day to each and every one of you i'm glad to inform you all that like last academic year this year too our management staff and students are coming up with a colorful independence day virtual program i'm sure that you all will enjoy it before we could begin the program i would like to appreciate and thank all the participants of today's event i especially thank all our parents who are a constant support by encouraging their children to participate in every activity teamwork is the success of our school so once again i wish you all a happy independence day good luck and god's blessings now let's all stand and join our students in paying tribute to our beloved national flag <laughs> I protect my country. 
country from enemies. The safety of my country is my most important duty. Jai Hind! My dear friends, today we celebrate 74 years of our country's Independence Day. Each year on this day, our hearts swell with pride as we hear the national anthem and we salute the tricolor. It is a day when we recall with happiness all our country's achievements since independence and our place on the world stage. Our nation has made tremendous strides in information technology, in space, in agriculture, cutting edge scientific research, culture, sports, education, poverty alleviation and the list goes on. And therefore there are many things to be proud about. But Independence Day, my dear children, is not just a day of celebration, it is also a day of reflection. We have to ask ourselves, what am I doing to preserve the freedoms that our founding fathers fought and died for? Just a look around today will tell you that though we live in a free democracy, there are quite often many freedoms not available to us today. We are not allowed to express ourselves freely. We are not allowed the right to dissent or criticize. There is rampant unemployment in our country. There is rising inflation. Prices of so many essential goods have doubled or tripled in the last few years. So many children do not have access to education. And this problem has become worse during the pandemic since there are thousands, maybe millions of children in our country who have no access to online education because they do not have smartphones and an internet connection. There is child labor, corruption, environmental pollution in the name of development, Prisoners under trials languishing in jails for years without a fair trial and the list goes on. And therefore, my dear children, freedom is not something that we fought for and achieved in 1947 and then we assume that we are now free. Dr. Usha Mehta, a well-known Gandhian has said, Our struggle for freedom carries on as long as there is injustice and inequality anywhere in the country. I cannot be free if my neighbor is not free. If he or she is suffering from some form of injustice or poverty, then I cannot be free. Because freedom is a collective thing. Freedom is not something that only I can enjoy alone. And hence it is very important, my dear children, that we understand the true purpose of our studies, our education. I receive this education not mainly because I can get a good job in the future, but so that I can become a good citizen of this country. That is the real purpose of education. My development as a human being, so I can become a responsible member of society. Now you may ask, what can I do as a student to work for the continued freedom of my country? Many things. We have to protect our environment and limited natural resources as a first choice. Do I save electricity? Do I throw litter on the streets instead of a dustbin? Am I trying to avoid the use of plastic? Do I try to keep my surroundings clean? You know, I have sometimes seen school children eat a packet of chips and then throw the empty packet on the road or out of the window of their school bus. That is not using our freedom responsibly. Secondly, my dear children, do I treat my elders with respect? Or do I become a nuisance to the elderly and the neighbors in my colony? You know, sometimes we make so much noise while we are playing that we don't care about the many elderly people who are staying around, who are being disturbed. Quite often we even talk back very rudely and in a disrespectful way to our elders. Thirdly, my dear children, do I take my studies seriously? Do I give my exams honestly? Remember, if you cheat in your exams today, you will cheat in life in the future because old habits die hard. We know that for all students, this has been a time of anxiety, feeling low, depressed because of the long time we have spent indoors, having to attend online classes rather than in a classroom. I am sure that is nobody's first choice. But we must think of the brave sacrifices our freedom fighters made so that we could live in peace and prosperity today. I want to end my message by remembering Sundarlal Bahuguna, who died at the age of 94 this year on the 21st of May. He was an environmentalist who fought for the preservation of natural resources and the natural environment in India his entire life. He became famous with the Chipko movement in the 1970s when people would hug trees to prevent authorities from cutting them down. 
we too, my dear children, my dear teachers, we must hug and love our country if we want to be truly happy. I cannot be happy and free if my fellow countrymen and women are not free and happy. So today, as we remember the glories of the past, let us promise to become responsible citizens of the future. I wish the principals, management, teaching and non-teaching staff and all the students of St. Sebastian Goan High School a very happy Independence Day. Jai Hind! I am glad to interact with you on this day of 74th Independence Day as we all are in a pandemic situation and where we are not in a position to have a physical celebration. Can you tell me how you feel about celebrating the national festival in our own homes? I too am happy to interact with you. Yes, it may seem to be a sad situation because we are not physically meeting or gathering around the beloved national flag to sing the national anthem, greeting each other, we miss wishing each other. But our school since last year has made so much of online progress that we are missing nothing at all. We are going to come together on 15th August. We are going to greet each other and we are going to celebrate the national festival with grandeur. And a plus point is that it will not be only us and the students. It will also be the families who are going to join with us in this celebration. And also our children are going to perform. There will be dances, speeches and songs. So all together we are not missing anything. As a parent, I truly witness how well the teachers are organizing the classes and taking every effort and pain to impart the best of knowledge to the students. However, if my question is not deviating from today's event, I would like to hear from you is that as a teacher, what is your opinion with regards to the online teaching process, both the advantages and the disadvantages that you come across? Yes, Neha. Thank you for appreciating us, teachers. One thing this pandemic situation has taught us, teachers, is to adapt. And we have adapted well in a digital way. There are disadvantages and advantages. One disadvantage is that we are not able to meet our children physically. That pat on the back, the pat on the cheek, appreciating them when they do well, when they answer well, that is missing. Comforting them, holding their hand when they are not able to write. Yes, we are not able to do that and that is sad. But also there is an advantage and that is we are able to to communicate with them. We are able to present our lessons in a more innovative and creative way, making the concepts very clear to the child. And one big advantage is that today parents are cooperating with us hand in hand. They are more active, disciplining and teaching their children. So that is a plus point. 
I hope I am not troubling you with different questions today. Probably it's my last one. What is your message today to all the students who are viewing this program? Definitely, I would like to give a message to our students. Dear students, do not lose heart because of this pandemic situation. Where there is a will, there is a way. Remember that song, Hum Honge Kamya? We shall overcome even this pandemic situation. So let us pray for our country, for peace and harmony in our country, and for the good health of all our citizens. Let us do our little acts of love, charity, so that we glorify our country. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you, dear teacher Clara, for spending your valuable time with me and with all those who are attentively viewing the program. Wish you a very happy Independence Day. Welcome, Neha. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak. A happy Independence Day to you and to all our viewers. <laughs> Good morning and happy Independence Day. Today we are celebrating 74th Independence Day of our country. India became free from the British rule on 15th August 1947. On this day we pay a special tribute to all our freedom fighters who sacrificed their lives so that we live of free life. Freedom is a gift which we all should cherish but use for our nation's development. As responsible and committed citizens, let us all build a strong nation by developing our own talents and skills. When every citizen builds himself with hard work and honesty, a strong nation is built which can face any challenges. Today, the whole world is facing pandemic situation, but India has managed to curb and control coronavirus successfully. As true patriots, let us all vow to follow the corona protocols set by the government by keeping social distance, wearing a mask, sanitizing our hands regularly and avoiding public places. When every Indian follows this, India can be free in true sense from this invisible enemy. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.
सुफलम मलय जशीतलम सस्य श्यामला मातरम वंदे मातरम वंदे मातरम